Hello YouTube land. Well, it's a uh, surprisingly, well, it's a, it's a nice day here in uh, Virginia. Got my truck back again. And if you can't tell, it's still not fixed. So, let's go over this, shall we? So I got my truck April 11th, 2021. It's been a good truck. Love it. My workhorse. But then I started having engine issues. You know about that? Had a warranty. Planned this whole thing out. I was going to go, have a new engine put in, be good to go. I didn't even bought, care about the front end damage after I got paid for that. But this is where shit gets stupid really, really fast. So, after a few months, I drop off the uh, truck in, Feb in late, Feb yeah, late February. And, uh,. Yeah, it's been there, mostly there, its entire time since. I haven't even put on 100 miles on my truck since that day. <clears throat> so, this is what happens. The first engine shows up, it's defective from the, from the factory. This one was, the, the original engine was defective because they forced on a part and stripped out a gear from day one. So, no fault on the dealership. They didn't know. No one could have known. Only the, dealer, only the uh, manufacturer could have known. Again, no fault there. Built on a Friday. People want to go home fast. I get it. <clears throat> but moving on. <sighs> so, second engine comes in. They fire it up. I, my phone lights up with all these new check engine lights. Like, oh, they're working on my truck finally. The second engine's bad. They apparently stripped a sent a bolt too far in and punctured an oil pump into the block. Don't know how. Don't know what. Don't know in which possibility it happened. I get it. It's over. Okay, shit happens. Engine three shows up after a few months. That was a uh, fuck. I uh, whenever I got back from employment. So let's say. September. September comes. New engine goes in. Oh, good! It's uh, it's up and operational. I can bring it home. Have it for about a week. For about like not even a week, like three days. And uh, check it's still there. I had talked to the shop before. <clears throat> They said it's because I turned off start-stop. Makes no sense, but I was just frustrated and I wanted to have my truck back. <clears throat> so, I get the truck back. I see VIN mismatch on the ECM. I see uh, a few other codes that I can't remember right now. And misfire. Misfire Weissing went to the shop originally. So I can't fucking believe it. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> I go back. I gotta take a look at it. Talk to my man Tuck, who sold me the truck. And is now a manager. He can't believe I'm back. Ugh. We start going through everything. My dog is barking. No, it's not my dog. So, when I tried to leave. They tried to charge me two thousand something the first time. Sorry, I forgot about this part. 
Let's uh get the paperwork out. It's off mug right now. Yeah. Double chin going on. Don't get old, but don't die young either. A contradiction. Oh, that's the least agreement, I think. Yeah. All right. That's the wrong paper, which I do not have. Okay. So they tried to charge me all stuff because the insurance wasn't covering it. Then they forced it through insurance, saying that okay, we said this, you're covered. Great. I paid 200 bucks. I was happy for that. Just for bolts and shit. So, whatever. They didn't charge me for a new battery because the battery died. You know, I was telling them, hey, battery's dying. Get on that. So, <clears throat> we go on from there. Uh, okay, so, I get the truck back. Okay, I haven't used the truth. I start hearing a clunking noise. I'm making turns. Like, that's not normal. Why is it clunking? Why is my check engine light flashing? Why is there a misfire in number four cylinder? As much as a... Uh, you can't make this stuff up. <clears throat> All these questions start going through my head. As I am trying to figure out... What is going on? Don't mind me. Just grabbing the phone and my reader. So, going through all the process on it. <clears throat> We're in. My man Tut. No, no. He can't believe I'm back. I can't believe I'm back. But the goddamn Virgin Mary can't believe I'm back. If my phone's the reason locking me out, hold on. So, yeah. Bad news all the way around. In the old Tahoe. And, uh, yeah. Joy continues. So, it's not showing everything there. Uh, I'm getting fed up now because this thing's been in for getting closer every day to a year. And this has been ongoing. I've been very patient with Ford, Priority Ford, the dealers. I mean, it's been almost a year. All I want is my truck fixed with the warranty. That's it. So I'm on the way to Ford again. Gonna talk to my neighbor for a second, let him know the shitty news. And, uh, yeah. This is uh, my life right now. Anywho. Sorry for the pressing update. I just wanted to vent my frustration because I love my Ford. I'm going to go pick up my 68 this next week. But I don't know anymore. This is the first truck I've ever bought from a dealership. Every truck I've ever owned, every vehicle I've ever owned has come from an auction, Facebook, or something in between. I get more and more why people say they don't make them like they used to. I get more people want to keep their old car. But I just don't know anymore. I mean, you guys see the passion I have for this truck. You guys see I love my Fords, my Crown Vicks, my, my Galaxy, my Ranger. I'm still doing progress on, but... I just, I feel defeated. I mean, when I, when I showed the dealership the, first, the uh, second time, the first time with the whole engine issue and the, it wasn't fixed, I talked about trading it in. Just, 
Look, just give me back uh, the money, we'll buy something new. I got under half what I paid for this truck. Even with all OEM modifications, all OEM equipment, the spray and bed liner, it's... It's just... insulting. Nothing I've done to this truck has been extreme as cutting something. The most extreme thing was the push bar, and that was taking plastic and putting a small hole in it. I'm just... I'm tired. I'm fucking depressed. If it was an older car, if I just bought an old, if I kept the old 04, I did all the work to it myself. I knew that truck inside out. It was a dumb dumb car. Everything on it, I could do and not worry about. What we did here has equipment sensors in places that are beyond. That ambient air temp sensor, for one thing. Ford. Priority Ford. Priority dealerships. I mean, I, I just don't get it anymore. I, I'm just venting my own frustration, but I hope maybe this little insight will show you something that's, that's strong a pie. I mean, Ford usually has good good ideas. I mean, they're the only goddamn... Uh, Deal, I didn't get a government bailout. But they can't make trucks anymore. They can't make cars anymore. The goddamn Mach E's the hideous thing that should never have been born. Call it a Clydesdale, and I'd give it more of a leniency, but calling it a Mustang is a little. I'm gonna head to the dealership. I'm gonna just try and figure this shit out. Get that black rental truck back, which I don't think I ever made a video on. Thanks for watching. <sighs> if, if, if I give any updates, so I'll. Uh, let you guys know in a little bit. Peace. Joy.